Hi guys, welcome to Sim Proved. Fry speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 Speed Build. Today we are going to build this castaway house. It is totally off the grid, doesn't use any electricity, there's no metal in it, and it comes with a little farm, lots of fishing spots, and cute self made objects that I decorated it with. So, without further ado, let's get started. <music> So I started on this tiny little lot that is in Solani, the new world from the Island Living Expansion Pack and it's an off the grid by natural default whatever lot and I thought this is cool we can really make like a castaway wash to shore kind of sim who has to live by the island and fish fish from the sea and maybe farm a little so I got me some debug objects through the new debug cheat which is bb.show live edit objects there we go and these are basically debug objects that are in the game but are far away somewhere in the worlds, in the environment and are not necessarily in the build and buy mode. And I found really really co cool stuff that I could use here especially for this kind of build to make it even look very lived in. So the goal for this here is that two sims can live there, there's like a king size bed and I wanted it to look very well like self built. I wanted it to look kind of lived in as if those sims already lived there for quite a while and have accomplished a kind of almost luxurious of the grid life. And I think this is also possible to play it as with. So there won't be a fridge, for example, and not a stove, because duh, these are electronical devices that can be used on an off-the-grid lot. But there are two campfires, I think, and this uh, barbecue thing from the Island Living Pack where they can have this tropical barbecue thing. I am not sure what it's called, but basically this is what we are going to use here. There are several bushes as a toilet, there is a shower and there is a sink. I'm not sure if they can use that on off the grid, but hey, they have to wash or clean themselves somehow. And therefore, it's a fully functional lot, so your sims can really survive there. And with all these debug objects that I found, for example, the fence around the farm, also the farm crops, don't ask me why I chose them. I just thought, hey, maybe they need some vegetables to their fish. And I found them and of course they won't grow on sand, but it's the Sims, so we take off a little bit more of realism here. <laughs> and I also found lots of driftwood in the debug mode and I'm going to stack it into the roof where there's already a plane. So the story about this, I have a real story about this whole lot, is that there has been a really wealthy couple who went as a vacation to Solani and they had their own kind of plane and the pilot crashed the plane there. So sadly their plane crashed, also rendering like the couple, the tourist couple dead, which is also why there will be two graves on this lot. It's a little bit dark, but basically your sim living there is the pilot of the plane and they built everything around this lot. So basically it's all self-built out of driftwood, out of maybe palm trees that they chopped down, everything that washes ashore and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted it to look really self-made, but over all the years, you know, and kind of still have a cute kind of vibe because I've seen some castaway huts that are really not well decorated and with all these debug objects we can decorate it kind of really lift in very detailed right now which is also why it took me quite a while even though it's a really tiny lot and I just enjoyed that idea. It is basically a little bit based on the idea of one of my viewers, she's called Maddie Richie. I love you, thank you for your forager hut I think uh, you called it idea but this is basically uh, more than a forager hut it's a tropical so you can basically put it also like in i think in island adventure in Cerro dorada but i also see it fit very much for this kind of lot and thank you again Medi, for the cool idea as always you can write me in the comments down below what kind of build you want to see sometimes like this time i will change a little bit of the basic idea but um yeah thank you so much you can always write me in the comments uh, I will try to build it my way or your way. We will see what comes out of it. And yeah, so basically all these debug objects, I, I searched for them beforehand. For example, the cool plane, which is what they crashed in. And since we got like 2,000 or one, over 1,000, they said, over 1,000 new debug objects, it is kind of hard to find them all. So I always do that in f beforehand now. 
to see what I can use and then I scrap ideas from time to time. So yeah, uh, the hut itself uh, has of course a palm leaf tropical roof. I used some freezers because I think it looks a little bit more interesting that way, a little bit more decorated. So maybe your sim living there already has like a really high woodworking skill and kind of made like already made like some ornaments on the house and stuff because they don't have much to do. They only fish, they have their vegetables to grow and then basically it's just chilling on the beach. So basically they can also use their time to build this awesome house. First I just wanted to use lots and lots of windows but then I thought this still looks as if there's too much wood in it and I wanted it to have like a really open space like kind of self made out of stilts but just using the spandrels didn't look cool enough so I used these huge door archway kind of things that came with the new I Love Living pack and that basically made it look a little bit more open and kind of not using as much wood that would be required basically my attempt to make it look a little bit more realistic and here you can see some of the debug I guess it's like a pergola or like a shade kind of sail something like this but we will delete it because it's too colorful and I didn't want to use any not as much textile outside and then I came up with this cool idea because in front I still on the beach side on the beachfront I still had so much space and I thought why not put an SOS sign I mean I've seen that and it's like a trope in all these castaway movies so basically the sim living there already tried to put you know make a sign for help maybe if a plane crosses or something like this or a boat goes by I just thought it's like a cool kind of idea. If you need that space, you can always delete it. I mean, deleting stuff in The Sims is really, really easy, believe me. <laughs> and later on, I wanted to put in a like volcano-ish stones everywhere, but deleted it because they're too dark and I wanted it to look kind of more tropical, you know, beach kind of thing, not very jungle. And yeah, I really like putting some spray paint under the crops. Uh, I think it makes it look a little bit more natural. I was like talking to my mom since I'm in Spain visiting my parents right now. And I was like, look at it, look at it, how cool it is. And she was like, yeah, maybe they use their own, you know, feces to uh, kind of use as growing aid, you know, for the plants. And this is why it's brownish under the plants. Yeah, my mom gets kind of dark and kind of gross sometimes. So yeah, I got totally got that from her. Um, but yeah, this is basically my explanation why stuff grows on sand here. Um, because I didn't think that like a coconut trees looked really cool. There's also some um, pineapple seeds that I put you somewhere can find them basically there are lots of debug objects that um, you can find there so your sims can survive also put some planters in there so you can really grow stuff and later on if you have like lots and lots of crops you can always delete the crops that are there and put them there so you really have a working functioning farm i myself ha hate the whole gardening farming thing so uh, i usually don't start with that at all just think it looks kind of stupid and i don't know it's just dumb gameplay for me but i know that some are super into gardening so you always have that option so i put some seeds and stuff everywhere in the interior we basically just have two big rooms they're actually quite spacious the shower is outside the sink will be inside and i hope that they work because i set it into the off the grid lot therefore i thought actually the game will remind me that i can't use any electronics i only use candles and like wooden stuff made out of wood i never got the like a message that you can't use it and it, like i tested it for a while and everything is well lit because i only use candles and yeah so you have basically a shower and a sink and if your sims have to go to the toilet i put all of these jungle adventure and get together bushes which i always call the sex bushes it's even on my merch i love them so much so your sims can go on the toilet in there but also can woohoo in there in these bushes so there are plenty of them and your sim can go you know fill their needs up there so basically we only have no kitchen of course since we didn't need a stove or a fridge and i just could put in like a dining table and kind of like a living room open spaced area 
And I really liked all the stuff that I have found. First of all, I wanted to go with uh, something self-made, but all these objects look like really dark wood, not as driftwoody, basically. And I wanted it to look really self-made out of driftwood, so I chose some things that kind of look very, very ornamented, kind of self-made, but still ornamented. So basically, maybe somebody living there is also there, like, as I said, for a very long time, and they gained so much woodworking skill that they even put some ornaments and kind of really cool stuff into their wood, uh, wooden, into their wood, <laughs> into their wooden objects and all that kind of stuff. So I thought that that's kind of cool. I also hang around lots of the debug fishes. Of course, there's a lionfish there right over the bigger sofa and they look gorgeous. So we have the purple one and we have the two normal ones. And of course, there had to be a lionfish in there. So yes, guys, I made it. <laughs> the lionfish hidden. No, not really hidden. It's really prominent, but it's there. My lionfish, I love him. All praise the lionfish lord. <laughs> And yeah, basically over the bed, I thought it looks kind of not as cute and cozy. Maybe they need like a mosquito net. So I put some of the gazebo pergolas, whatever it is, inside. And I thought it looks really, really cool since I had the second biggest wall height. I could put them in there. And then outside, behind the hut, basically, there is a little fountain. You can see the two graves. Graves? Yeah, I think you call it like a tombstone with the graves and uh, there's a little fountain kind of thing, natural fountain. It kind of sounds really cool in live mode because you have these also like fishing, like fishes swimming in there. And so there is the barbecue, some pots and plants, some fishes, hang like a drying rack for fishes. And of course, a little table with some self-made chairs to make it look a little bit more lived in. I used lots of potted plants and lots of candles. Basically, it's really, really beautiful at night. I will try it now, like in the, in the during the building. I tried it and set it to night to see how well it is with all the lovely candles. And also, I will put lots of candles around the graves, you know, as a to memorize or like remember the fallen <laughs> from the plane crash that is, you know, the plane that is also in, inside the roof. And I just thought it's like such a cute idea. It's kind of dark, you can delete it if you think it's too dark. I thought, hey, I love horror stuff and all these horror movies and I love to build something dark. So I had to have like some kind of reference of death. <laughs> that it cost a lot to build this whole house and this kind of little off the grid paradise. And here we are already inside uh, or in the video tour. There are some fish traps outside. There's lots of fishing poles where your sims can fish. So basically there's provided food, there's the barbecue and there is some farming. So eating is no problem. There's lots of comfort since we have like really cool bed, like a cool bed and nice tiny little so far everywhere and i especially love those jungle adventure debug plants that i could put in outside everywhere as like kind of a wall for keeping the heat outside it's always ha good to have some vertical plants and yeah i just think it looks really really cute and beautiful in my opinion the whole build is very very detailed took me kind of a lot of time for a tiny build basically but i want you to have the most decorated most lived in most realistic builds as possible of course and yeah i really hope that you like it you can download it the download link is in the video description like always and yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you are into sims 4 builds and i will see you soon bye bye